I'm gonna say that's ground. We can handle that. Two dipsticks, side by side. <laughs> Start, yeah. Oh, no. Hi, Batch, I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with today. What's up, buddy? Hey, it's hand in the pocket weather. <laughs> it is morning. hand in, that's funny. We're both, and we have both got our brown trousers on. Yeah. So, hope we're not expecting something that we need brown trousers for. <laughs> Senior moment. <laughs> senior moment. Hey, this guy was riding down the road with his wife. Gotcha. And they seen a billboard sign that said, X Lax, make you feel years younger. Right. They kept seeing billboards, so that man said, I'm gonna pull in here and get me some. So he tried some X Lax, gave his wife some X Lax. About 50 miles down the road, he said, well, his wife said, well, do you feel any younger? He said, well, I don't know if I feel any younger, but I just did a childish thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why brown made me think of that. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's going to be a good day. Yeah. It's going to be a good day. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So we're at Mac. Yeah. We're at an old Mac. and uh, An you, old Mac. You've actually seen this Mac in a video before. If you followed the channel for a while, we kind of just did an overview on this Mac. And a lot of you guys were like, hey, man, go back and, and you know see if you can get that thing cranked up or not. And so we're here. We're going to see if we can get it cranked up. It's an old, we're at a place, uh, a place in Florida where the company that owns this truck is a house moving company. And they use this to move houses back and forth, back and forth. This has been set 19 years. Uh, is this, I've uh, been sitting here. It's missing some tires. Uh, it's got, it, all the tires have air in them. So if we get it cranked up, maybe we can roll, you know, maybe we can drive it. Looks like all the drivetrain parts are there. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to take you around it. We'll show you what the, the rig looks like and see if we can't throw some batteries in it and maybe maybe talk sweet to it and see if we can't get this thing cranked up again. Yeah. It's a nice Mac. Uh, so let's take a look at it. You want to fire this thing up or what? You yeah. walk around it or you just want, let's see. We got the fuel tank right here. You I think if you walk around it seven times, it should. <laughs> it might fall to the ground. <laughs> oh man. Oh Lord, have mercy. We're, That's I think, gonna be harder. Well, it'll be dripping. It's, it's you a, got us out here just before daylight. I know. Well, I wanted to make sure that we get done before lunch. Okay. So just in case we need to go eat lunch somewhere. I we, guess we'll get through for lunch. Lunch might be five o'clock, but we yeah. you always get through for lunch. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I can. I saw that it had some in there. Uh oh. I can see it in there, but it, uh, you know, somebody did send us a fuel gauge, a fuel checker, <laughs> but those, that's got enough in there to crank it. Does it have a fuel tank on the other side as well, do you think? Mm -hmm. All right, last uh, IFTA sticker is 03, so 19 years, just like I said. Here's the battery box. Probably got one on both sides. Yeah. We can handle that. Yeah. The good thing is it can tote the batteries. Don't have to right. walk over stuff. These, uh, we'll take you inside here in just a minute, but check this winch out on this yeah. thing. My goodness gracious. I wonder what pound winch that is. Oh Ton winch that is. It it's had not to be. pounds, it's yeah. tons. Yeah, this thing is nuts, man. It's got a tree growing through it, Wiley. That means it's gonna crank. I mean, they're pulling big stuff with this. You know what I mean? If you're moving houses, how much does a house weigh? How much does a how much does a single wide trailer weigh? Um, I couldn't tell you. Mm, Fifty thousand, eighty thousand pounds. I wouldn't think it would be that much, but 50, 50, 30 to fifty. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What do you know, Wiley? I don't know much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's fire this. Let's open the hood on this thing. Let's look how I cool tell you what I do know. You don't know what you're talking about when you said all the tires were aired up on it. Oh, is that tire not good? I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we can. No, it ain't no good. Uh, no. How'd you miss that? I don't know. 
I guess I just looked at the rear tires and assumed the front tires are yeah, good. That's, <laughs> that's always a good assumption, right? I wonder that. I wonder that come from the factory like that, or if that's just. A, I think we talked about that before about the white dog. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What oh, this is a butterfly hood. So we can open this side. Yeah. It's like the other car. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Look at that Cummins on that bad boy. Is there not a stick or something we can? I think you fold. They don't fold down. Do hold hold okay. this for a second. I'll climb up. Well, I got you got it. Why well, I got a hold? Well, or you can climb up, your choice. Man, this is so cool. Whoa. It goes all the way over. Yeah, but we got to get the other one. Yeah, well, also, we got to check the oil. You gonna check the water when you're out there? You can yeah. check the water where the hood's not up and up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Hey, well, one thing we do know, they have swapped engines out. Have they? Because this is not a V8. Oh, uh, true. It said V8 on the hood, didn't it? It did. So that's disappointing because I'd like to see us try to start a V8, but I think that'd be a lot easier to try to start this Cummins. If it'll spin, it'll probably crank. Well, that V8 would have been a would that would have been a Detroit. Possible. I think Mac probably made some V8s oh, when okay. they first come out. Right. Not for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me check this here. Nope, but that's all right. Yeah, that's a big cam Cummins. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome, dude. This job never gets old, Wiley. You know what? <laughs> I say that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Part. Maybe they cut it off in gear. Maybe, huh? It's got a key in it, Hank. Oh, it's going to crank, man. Yeah. Look how cool this is up here. That's awesome. Still got the CB in it. Is it in gear? How about you? How about you, driver? You got your ears on? I tell you what, Hank, till we get uh, things going, I'm gonna go put on my jacket. Are you not gonna check and see if it's in gear? It's, I, I'm gonna go get my jacket. <laughs> yeah. Get some it's all while you're at it. All right. Man, I hope this thing ain't locked up. We drove a long way for it to be locked up. I tell you what's cool, man, is get you get these little, Vents like this on top of the hood, a little vent here, these little side vents. That kind of stuff is just really, really interesting to me. And there's just so much metal. Everything is just big, heavy metal. I love the the split window with the the curved glass. It's a good looking truck. You warm now, uh, sweetheart? Much, I feel much better. All right. <laughs> I believe it was in gear. Now let's see if this thing's making oil empty. Well, it'd be help if we was on the right side. Or the correct side, I should say. It's got a bungee cord in here. That's always a telltale sign that they needed some help doing something. It's got the old PT pump on it too. What you thinking, boss? Well, <clears throat> they towed it here. Oh yeah, they, they didn't strap the steering wheel or something? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well. 
Just maybe they didn't want to try to start it. It set somewhere else for a long time. Yeah. But we'll find out. It won't take just a minute to put some batteries in it. Yeah, let me check the oil. The oil's See on the what other up. Side. Oil's on the other side. We'll close this up. Hey, Hank. Sir. Look how long it's been sitting. Look at this bungee cord. Look at what? Look at this bungee cord. Oh, dry rotted? Yeah. Golly. Now, it's been a while, hasn't it? Turbo. Let's see. What do you think, Wiley? Wiley, the dipstick on this thing literally is four foot long. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not exaggerating. Look. That's longer than four foot. Stand it up beside you. Yeah, I will. This thing's making all Wiley. Look at that. Six foot. Two dipsticks, side by side. <laughs> <laughs> I got set up. <laughs> you set me up, Wiley. Uh, that thing's six foot long. But it's making oil. All right, I'm going to be getting batteries. <laughs> well, we got to get the tools. We put the batteries to make sure it's not locked up before we... You, which side? This On both sides. Batteries? Yeah. Both sides. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's put three batteries in it because it's got three in it. So you want one on this side and two on that side? Yeah. Okay. I need a nine sixteenths. This rear end is massive. Yeah, it's got that camel back. Now let me let, let's take a look at this right here. When we looked at that um, Western Star, yeah, it, they, people said that's a Chalmers rear end. Right. Is that the same setup as this? Because that Western Star, if I remember, it had like almost like a wishbone. Right. But so this is only a single one. Right, it's, no, but it's, it's still it's considered. Camel, a, it's, yeah, that's a suspension. That's a tor torsion bar. Yeah, but I think they call it Chalmers. Uh -uh. Or is that just the name? That brand? was a suspension of the. This is a Camelback suspension, and that other one was a whatever. Chalmers. You just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that had nothing to do with a torsion bar uh -uh. setup. Uh -uh. Oh, I thought that's what they were referencing in the comments. Mm -mm. Ah. They were talking about the suspension versus the... Right. Um, yeah, you got Hendrickson suspension, which is similar to this Camelback, but the leaves go this way. The, yeah. The Camelback goes this that, way. Well, I mean, yeah, you can obviously yeah. see that, but hence, hence Camelback. You know what I mean? Obviously. Obviously <laughs> see that. <laughs> People do know you have problems with your eyes, while Yeah, I do, and my animals. <laughs> Oh man. But I'm but, telling you what, I learned a lot with the comment section, dude. There's some smart people in there, you know? Yeah, I bet you those I, I said they was forty four rear ends, but I think I bet those are fifty four thousand rear ends or Well people said that you were right with forty fours. When we did the video the last yeah. time. So But I I bet you they're a little bit heavier duty than a 44. I bet it's the next Look at the size up. of those U-bolts, man. Oh, My gosh. Massive. Double frame. You'd have to have something like this to pull well, what they move. Well, it depends. We were just talking about the weight of a well, house being 30 house to 50,000. Yeah. And, you know, and people, I mean, nowadays they're carrying loads 80,000 pounds. They it, run, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, they got permits to do what they need to do.
this uh, this tool roll from DeWalt. Yeah. I'll leave a link, an Amazon link below, in a pinned comment for for this particular tool roll. How much how much use have we gotten out of this thing? Well, you can tell we're about wore it out. <laughs> I know. I wonder if DeWalt got any tape we can put on the bottom. Yeah, a little black and black yeah. and yellow tape. Yeah. You know who owns DeWalt? Mm -mm. Black and Decker. Stanley oh. Stanley Black and Decker. That's crazy, isn't it? It is. Yeah. That's the own parent company. I guess DeWalt just got tired of it, didn't he? <laughs> Mr. DeWalt. Now I tell you, I tell you what happened is they said, hey, we'll we'll buy it from you. And he was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not selling. Well, we'll give you this. Uh, uh, well, on. you're right. I am selling. <laughs> uh, funny story, Wiley. Funny ha ha. Or yeah, funny, funny ha ha. I got a friend of mine that owns in, that owned an engineering firm. Yeah. And so him and his buddies started it and they kind of grew it and they were like, you know, this is our baby. Well, a national company come in and was like, hey, we want to buy your engineering firm. He's like, no, it's not for sale. You know, it's something we bro we growed from the ground up and we're proud of it. And they come back about six and the owner of the national company, he said, well, listen, man, everything's for sale. He goes, nah, we're we're good. Well, they come back about six months later, and it's like, all right, we've we've evaluated your company. I know you don't, you, you're not selling it, but this is what we'll offer it for you. And he was like, you're right, everything is for sale. <laughs> <laughs> they sold that rascal wood. <laughs> yeah. Now you know. Now he's on a big yacht in the Cancun somewhere there, and living here, living the dream. You know. Yeah. I'm gonna need a wire brush. A lot of people say, you need a wire brush or you need this, that, and the other. We've got a lot of that stuff. We just don't, sometimes we just don't bring it out. how corrosive this stuff is. I'm gonna put some gloves on for my dishpan hands. I still don't know why we can't get one of those battery pack, battery things. <laughs> jump pack sponsors? Jump pack. We don't have to tote these batteries. I'm gonna buy, I'll tell you what, this yeah. video is coming out in December. I'm going to, uh, by 2023, we'll have one. What do you think? Well, you might not even be on the channel in 2023. <laughs> the Lord might come back. What are you talking about? You never can tell. Let me go get my brush. My steel brush. You know, Hank, something, have you ever thought about this? Sir? Have you ever thought about this? That the battery boxes are still the same size. They make the batteries the same size as they did. Let me see how I'm trying to phrase that. These battery boxes. They haven't evolved. Well, the size of the battery are still fitted, you know, 40 years later is what I'm saying. Looks like the batteries would have got bigger. Or smaller. Look at what they're doing with like computer chips. You brushing your teeth for that thing, you're gonna let me borrow it. <laughs> you need it over there? Yeah.
So Wiley. Yes, sir. Me and Gina went out to eat last night. Where'd y'all go? The, the, the little seafood place on the beach. <laughs> and uh <laughs> But something happened that made me start thinking about people. Uh they come up there and wanted to be paid. They uh we had we had to put our name on the list, you know. To wait on the table or whatever. Well, they got uh, the people in front of us. Last name was Smith, whatever it was, Jones Smith, whatever. Yeah. And there's like Smith, party of two. Smith, party of two. Nothing happened. Last call, Smith, party of two. And then they were like Hamilton, party of two. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so we went, we sat down, and I got to thinking, like, what happened to the Smiths? Like, did they get, did they get kidnapped? If, I mean, who could eat at a time like this? You know what I mean? Like, what if they're in a trunk somewhere? Like, the Smith family's been kidnapped, but yet we're over here enjoying our supper and whatever. Like, no one cares about the Smiths anymore. You know? <laughs> who can eat at a time like this, Wiley? The Smiths are missing. Uh, that didn't go where I thought it was going. <laughs> <laughs> Never, it hardly ever does. <laughs> Truth be known, you said, man, I'm glad them Smiths didn't show up. <laughs> I got my table quicker. Yeah, thank you, Smith. <laughs> Unless they was part of the Smith and Wesson family. I'm gonna say that's ground. All right, Wiley, I got mine hooked got up it. over here on my side. You got mine. So we got both of them hooked up? Yeah. Did you put two on your side? I did, I put El Duso. Hang on, there's a man that's got the door. Oh, I see it. I thought there's some tension on it. Okay. Did it have any uh, buzzards? Got no power. See if that's the master switch. Heat start. Yeah. Oh no. Something's not right. We we should have like a disconnect switch. Heat. I hear something. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. That wasn't a Marlboro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see if it bump over. Yeah, see if it bump over. Ready? Yeah. Oh, it's not locked up. That thing almost cranked. It almost cranked, didn't it? Yeah. Or should it, it's almost started. Huh. That's awesome, dude. It is awesome. These Cummins are tough. All right, let's get some fuel to it now. I think I think what I'll do, Wiley. Yeah. Is I think I'll close this hood and open that side. Okay. You can do like you want to do, Hank. <laughs> it's your day. It's your thing. This is class of '72. Do what you want to do. I graduated five years later, class of '77. But the thing, what? I tell you what, they really haven't got much better since the seventies. <laughs> well, and trucks are humans. I, uh, I, I, here's here's my thing about it, Wiley. Is I was so proud of you when you graduated in seventy seven. Yeah. I mean, twenty four years old and finishing your high school up. Very. Well, I was really in the third grade. <laughs> 
Took a few more years to get there. All righty. But now, I don't know why you come to this side. Because the fuel pump's on this side. Fuel the pump's on this side, okay. Yes, sir. I figured you'd want to do it that way. Yes. You want to see if the fuel pump is switching on? I bet you this thing's mad. Do what? Yes, yeah, got a. Yeah, so right. you got a wire going to the pump. One of these pumps you can. That's uh, one of them. You can turn. You can twist in to make it manual. Yeah, let's, let's see if you hear anything. Yeah, I hear it. Okay. All right. Well, we got fire to the pump. Check. Check that off the box. Check yeah. that box. Let me, what was you doing? Let me let you listen. Because, you know I can't hear, dude. But I did feel, I felt like I heard something. Well, I can't hear either. What was you doing? Just turn the switch? Yeah. Man. I hope this voltmeter ain't right, because it's got like 11 volts. Well, it was enough to spin it. I, I was looking at it myself. Can you hear that? No. Let's all get some fuel to her. We'll find out right quick. I bet it's a manual kill on this. What do you want me to do? Well. Man, this dash is just awesome. Huh? This dash is just awesome. What you want me to do? Uh, don't fall, buddy. Yeah, I, I don't know never, you're prone I don't to never fall. fall. I don't never fall, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now switch it on and off again. No, I don't. I don't, but that's not a problem. We can get it, we can get it hot here, and I do not see a manual keel on it unless it's right on the other side. But that's all right, no problem. <clears throat> Wiley, I just love how these. I just love these old trucks, dude. Switches and levers and levers and buttons and just awesome. It says 3605 on the hour meter, but obviously that's a different motor or engine for my friends, uh, my other friends. 42500 on the Odo meter. Yeah, this is. This is pretty doggone awesome. Here's the control for the winch. The PTO. Hair brakes. Got a Fulton uh, or a Fuller Roadmaster in it. I think he. All right, we're going to have to get fuel to it, Hank. All right. Um, I guess if you'll hand me a. Maybe a croissant wrench. I can probably take this fuel line off, see if we're getting fuel to that filter. Okay. Start it with ether and see if it'll pick up. You want to try that? Uh, 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 we can. All right. Maybe it's got, maybe it's got, uh, I wonder what this is. I mean, it, it looks like it run to this side. I wonder if that got anything to do with anything. What is, what is that? They had a hole there, they barred that vent. 
you know, that oh. like a gauge or something. And they just covered it for the rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ingenious. Brilliant. The back windows don't land against the drive shaft back here. All right, let's see this. I, I got it. You know, turn it over, I'll spray it. All right, whenever you're ready. All right, fire in the hole. Oh, I thought I thought that was smoke, but that was ether. All right. That don't sound healthy. Uh. -uh. Reckon these batteries are charged? Yeah. Let's turn around and hook the jumper cables to them. Okay. Because this thing just shows. Have you got room on that side to put another battery? Do what? Is there room on this side to put another battery? Uh, yeah, with, the, with our cobbling kit, we put it on the ground. Yeah. We can put another battery here. I've got two more batteries in my truck. Well, we can put another battery here and also, uh, you know, jump it off. See if we can get it spinning pretty good. I think I'll get the cobbling kit. This thing gonna fire right up, Wiley. <laughs> well, I spoke too soon about the battery box width and the batteries. This one didn't evolve like the other. Yeah. Let's see. Why didn't you just leave that hook and just run a jumper to this one? Well, because I was going to put both batteries on here, oh. but where's this, the positive? Right there. All right. Man, it ain't like it took three seconds to put the cables back on. 12voltguy.com. Thank you. He has saved our bacon, ain't he? He has. Hey, oh, Sparky over here. Is this wrench? Uh, let me get, uh, get something to set that on. What? That oh, it's not right. There's another battery right there. Let's just move that back. That's your right foot. Hmm? That's your right foot. Uh, oh boy. How about that? Mm -hmm. The cat woman used to say, Brr. <laughs> 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 She was pretty, wasn't she? Man, I'm telling you what, easy on the eyes, wasn't mm We got one more in the truck if we need it, and jumper cables, you know? That brought it up some. All right, I'm gonna spin it over. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> You know what it ain't? It's still in the 
still in the. If that va if the gauge is right, something is it. Is it something making it lose its? I don't know. Like a weak ground somewhere underneath the truck or something, you know? I mean, I can throw another one. Let's put the uh, battery, let's put the cables on it and see if that. You want to put the cables to the starter? Uh, yeah. Easier to put to the batteries. You can't, I don't think you can get to the starter with, with your truck. Well, what I'm saying is, if I put my truck right there in between these, these yeah, two. Yeah, we'll just put it to the battery. Do you not, or do you want me to try to bring that other one here? Let me bring one more, and then. Yeah, let me get a short cobbling. Yeah, I got yeah. you. I got you. I can read your mind, brother. These uh, these these two was actually hooked to the same. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Post. Yeah, no. I, I'm need not to fix sure that. if that's got anything to do with it or not. I think so. I think it does actually. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> You want a shorter one? No. Yeah, who wants a shorter one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get another one. But we'll have to figure that out because it's a round top. That didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. Let's see. Yes, it did. Yes, it did, Hank. I told you. Man, see, listen. See, listen. <laughs> How, how's that possible? See, listen. <laughs> it's not, is it? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. All right. Fire it up. Let's turn around and put some jumper cables on it, though, Hank. Let's give us... This, this, that this boy be, be wanting to put some jumper cables we on We got to have some... We're going to have to have some help. That boy would be all right. Let me get them jumpers. Hey, uh, sir. I say? didn't know if you wanted to build a pair of jumper cables right quick. I got some cable in the back of my truck. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We can if you want. I mean, Let's I try this. <laughs> I do have some though. All right, I'll turn around. Turn, turn your love around. Yeah. 18 batteries and some jumper cables. I believe it'll go. It got us a little higher though, Hank. 
It did go higher? Did go higher. Uh, where's the wire, Hank, to the cobbler? To, let's see if it's pump switching on when we're letting the charge some, you know what? Yeah. I tell you what, this has been a pretty cool, pretty cool pickup at a scrap yard. Yeah, you gotta have it. I'll, be, I'll do this. Uh, you wanna just hook it to the? Yeah. The, yeah. Green and black is connected together. You got it? Yeah, it's on. Are you getting no spark? There. Hold that. Come on, Sparky. Uh, don't fall. I don't never fall. <laughs> Get your hands off my honey. It seems like this is getting more common. You putting your hands on my honey? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear nothing click. Nothing. I did then. I think I need to borrow your knife. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Switch ain't on. Oh, it doesn't matter. I swear I heard it just a minute ago. So click. I'm gonna go to that wire. I can't see. Yeah. Now, if it's if it's turned switched to manual mode, it won't. Either it, this ain't gonna affect anything. If it's manual mode. That's what I'm saying. So you won't hear it click. I swear I heard it click. I thought I heard it click, but could have been that knife when you opened it. Unbearable hours later. We're no soon enough. Yeah, that's right. That's a fact check. All right. Um. I wish we had a fit that would fit a line where we could just dump it right to the fuel filter. Yeah. Gravity feed it. Yeah, I didn't bring my fittings with me. I thought to myself, well, I won't need him today. Wiley knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Fire it hold. Oh, yeah, this thing's way above 15, uh, 15, 13. Ready? Yeah. Right, let, me, let me spray some ether in it. Ah. Uh, Hey, the beacon light just came on top. Right there. All right. Yeah, 
ain't getting that fuel, dude. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's got something to do with the manual fuel pump selection. That's my thought process. I think the testers just need some batteries. No, I just got new batteries in it. I just think it's a three dollar tester, you know what I mean? Need to go buy another one. Yeah. You gotta be a dollar general within two miles of where we are. I know, right? Yeah, right. eleven point eight. You're on that, okay. Mm-hmm. Eleven point eight five is what it's doing. All right, see if you can break that fuel line loose going into the filter. Nothing? Nothing. Nope. How far can you come up with it? Tank? Can't come up? All right, let's see if I got the fuel switched off. Well, we're not going to get any fuel off this side, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Technique only. Make sure you check your fuel, can <laughs> your fuel tanks before you... <laughs> it might be a good thing. See if you can pull that hose. Because what happened was when this tire blew out, it hit that fuel line and that's why they pushed it. Oh, yeah. When it was blowing around. Yeah. Can't get no slack on that fuel line. It's just, it's just weed. Yeah, up it, I, I figured it all be cobbled up. You doing something? Uh, oh, you was moving some bushes, wasn't you? Yeah, it's got like zip ties. Yeah, okay. I, we, they got the fuel cut off. Cost this busted fuel line. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna have to go get us an adapter so we can hook auxiliary fuel to go in there. Now here, um, no, dude, give me the. Uh, uh, okay, I've got some. This wire goes. See, it's gonna go T, Hank. It's gonna T into the to that line, and that's gonna be difficult. Let me look, see what it is. Okay. See here where they broke it? Yeah, but this is, uh, it's gonna come. If you'll get up there and wiggle, wiggle that hose that I've got turned off here. Yeah. Uh, and I'll just break my fall, okay, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is which one? Hank, is? that's going back on top to the tank. That's what I'm saying. You got to go. You want me to take it off top of the tank? Yeah. 
And the way you use it. One? Is it this one? Yes, it is. Easy to get to. Easy. Super That's what I, I want to do that then. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just zip tie the, or cut the zip ties off. Yeah. Yeah, it's this right here. Oh, we on to something now, boss. All right, let me get let me get the other wrench for it. That motor was like, I want to start, but you guys aren't doing it right. There we go. Yeah. I can just do it right here, Wild. Huh? I can just do it right here. Hey, it can't, how, how are you going to get it to siphon? You, you got to get higher. Your love is lifting me higher. All right, you need something to cut those uh, We're up zip ties? To electric <laughs> and then you take me higher. <laughs> There's a zip tie down there. Oh it? my goodness. And <laughs> listen. I mean, there's a zip tie down there, probably under the. No, I, I can see it from where I'm at. Can you cut it from where you're at? Uh, you might, you'll have to talk me onto it, but. I can't see, but. Okay, hang on. Pull, you pull that in and I'll push. Yeah. <laughs> Is that helping? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, hold on a sec. Alright, pull. Yeah, I got it. I can see where it's hung up. Okay. All right. Uh, can you pull that? If I can cut that zip tie. Oh, you got it. Yeah. I won't tell you how much diesel just got in my eye. Oh, it burns. <laughs> Okay. 
What you thinking? I'm thinking I'm gonna put that hose back up there loosely and take that sure can and just kind of take that spout and fill the hose up. Okay. We can get it where it can create a siphon. What you think? Yeah. You need that adjustable wrench, that crescent wrench. Oh. Or do you want what size is it? Cres you had the crescent wrench here. Yeah, but would you rather use a wrench? Uh. -uh. I'm proud of you. Wow, that was a trick question, and you passed your test. been hit after hit after hit. Yeah. I can't believe these songs was written back then for this particular YouTube channel. How did they know? How did they know? Got some diesel on you. Hold it up. All right, do it again. Tell how good that feels on that cut. Huh? Okay. Let's put it in the can. See that cut? Oh my goodness gracious. It burns. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> totally embarrassing, sorry. Should have some diesel headed that way. Yeah. Driver. How about you, driver? You want me to go over there with the ether? Yeah. All that smoke billow out of yeah. that. Does that count as a start? It does start. Whew. Yeah, that's awesome. Isn't that something? 19 years. Or did I say 17? What did I say at the beginning? Um, let's go 15. Let's no, it's like 17 it. or 19. I, 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 it, so. I average out the ones that's <laughs> that, that we've yeah. lied about. <laughs> yeah. We just, <laughs> <laughs> These things average 15 years. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can do it one more again. All right. It seems like it ran out of fuel or either the wire come off the pump. Which is, which the wire is off the pump. Is it? Yeah. Well, that's what happened. Yeah. Way to go there. Good who, job, Hank. <laughs> who put the, who's in charge of putting the wire on the pump? Tech man. <laughs> What you looking for? The wire. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> this thing got so happy when it started. 
I wonder where's the wire even on it when we started it. We might have to roll back and see. Yeah, that's a good. Huh? That's a good fault. I'm not sure that's on there. You know? Yeah. And that thing just started right up, didn't it? It's crazy, man. Fuel, fuel, unreal. Unbelievable. I wonder about the return, if that shut it off, because this has to return. Yeah. I wonder if that tank switched off. Well. It don't matter, it would return on the ground because it's a busted hose. Correct. Okay. Correct. Let's try it again. Ready? Yeah. Can you give it some fuel manually? My pedal stuck. Uh, no, you're doing it. Yeah. Huh? All right. It's moving the throttle. Might be wide open. <laughs> Gonna need some ether. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Let me see about the fuel. Do what? Let me see about the fuel accelerator. When you were moving it a while ago, it was it was rotating or pivoting. Yeah. But that look, that thing's uh, uh, been cracked open. <laughs> see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. I mean, that's the issue. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we saw that a while ago. Yeah. Did that move it? I don't know, but if it didn't, it'll help hold it, maybe. I didn't want to stretch it too far. Let me get another can of ether. Yeah. I'm out of the go-go juice. Huh? Oh no, it was wrapped up, it's curled up like a snake up there. Well, there you go. That's the problem. Yep, 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 yep. We're getting some now. Way to be ready. <clears throat> okay. Hope we don't have a spark. <laughs> Okay, she should be good now. Ugh. We'll try it without these. Okay, yeah. we'll try it without these. Yeah, I mean, it'll at least fire. It's got fuel right there. All right, hold on, Wiley. That was white smoke all day up here. Okay. Yeah, all right, ready? Yeah.
that Winchell run. Take the ship that's built up there in North Bridge. Motor oil line? Yeah, off this oil tank up front. Okay. Yep. This thing's making oil down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good job, cameraman. <laughs> That's right, you earned your, you earned your pay, cameraman. That was, I know we've yep. been busy, but when I snatched that wire off, it started. It sure did, or stopped. <laughs> It started to. It started. To it quit. started leaking oil. No, it's, <laughs> I'm confused. Well, dude, that was awesome. It was. Seventeen years, man. Seventeen, nineteen years. <clears throat> that was awesome. I'm thinking, Hank, that that middle stick. Yeah. Is a transfer case. If you come around here, I'll show you. We can get on there before we leave and look. We see that middle one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that's a high and low. So if this is almost a, like a twin stick. Yeah, if this is like a ten speed or a nine speed, that means you got that nine and low, and that, you got eighteen, 18 speed, speed. So you can get really, really low. Yeah, yeah. What they a lot want. Of torque. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want no top end. They don't want any top end. They want it. Dude, that was awesome. And uh, hey, let's ask the viewers about this. <laughs> Why would why is a fru hog tag on this? Do you think the owner riveted in there because he's always pulled a fru hog trailer? Well, or? I mean, look, these are screwed, and well, I don't know if those are screwed too. That's a '72 model. This is a '72, in that class of '72. Yeah, that's straight. That's Phillips. I wonder if fru hog built this build this particular rig. Yeah. I bet somebody will know. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That was way cool, man. I love doing stuff like this. Yeah, that was awesome. It was pretty awesome. All right. Fuel, air, and compression. Yeah. I guess. That's Close what enough. I heard somebody say. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, the Max. You just can't kill a Mac. Can't kill a no, Cummins. Can't do it. You know? Man, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Sometimes, yeah. you know, it, we'll have that stuff in the description for if it's for sale or not or whatever. So just go look in the description. If you're watching the phone, if you're watching your phone or on your phone this way, uh, along uh, sideways, turn it vertical up and down, and then you can see the description of the video. It will have if it's in there or not. <laughs> what if they're on their computer? Oh yeah, <laughs> the laptop. Yeah, and underneath the video is the video description. So if you're watching on a computer or something like that, underneath the video where all the writing is, that's the video description. It will have all the information in there. So anyway, uh, a lot of just throw us a price. You know, we'll take it to yeah. the owner and we'll see if that if that owner wants to accept that price or not. It's no big deal if you if you want to or not. But listen, um, it's getting close to Christmas time, so you guys have a merry Christmas and a happy New Year and. Uh, just make sure that you turn your notification bell on because the things that we've got lined up for 2023. Yeah, there's no telling where we'll be. It's in, and we'll no telling where we'll be in 23. Can we need to write that? Well, that's, yeah, let's patent it there. Uh, can we? Nobody's ever thought of that. Never, mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> Check out the preview of what's coming up on Hamiltonville Farm. God bless you guys. Next on Hamiltonville Farm.